is the head coach of my football team, the University of Michigan Wolverines. He had quite a uh, fascinating combine weekend. He was with the team in Florida for a four-day stretch. Uh, he is also known while I was at the combine, uh, Captain Comeback himself from back in the day. And as a matter of fact, uh, he was the last quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts, not named Manning, before Peyton Manning arrived there. And he is none other than head coach of the University of Michigan, Jim Harbaugh. Coach, how are you, sir? Doing good. How are you doing, Rich? I'm doing fine. Is it true I, I got you out of the film room for this conversation? Is that a true story? That's a true story. Oh, gosh. We're having a, having a heck of a morning. Um, got a big coach's clinic. No, that's right. That's right. Going it... on this weekend. Mm -hmm. And the Raven staff is entire Raven staff, the entire Michigan staff. Uh, Art Browse is coming in and Steve Spurrier and Spurrier. Shanahan. And, and we, uh, we've been spending the morning with Mike Martz. Ah! No Doesn't get any better than that. Now that guy, uh, Marshall Falk, who you know obviously very well. Um, yes. Marshall, lo I mean, loves, loves Mike Martz. I mean, the two of them were, are like peas in the pod together yeah, talking offense. How do you, how do you, how do you not love, love Mike Martz? We've uh, we've been at it all morning, and uh, we've added added some routes, added some protections, uh -huh. added uh, footwork by the back. Just just got done watching footwork by Marshall Falk. Is, and, uh, is that changed, right? Changed the footwork on our on our uh, weak side polling play, so uh, it's good. Now, it's good. who better to ask this? Because I've heard Marshall talk all about uh, Peyton Manning being a rookie. You were there when Marshall stepped on the field for the first time as a pro, correct? Correct. What was yes, that day like? There. What was that day like with Marshall? It was. Uh, I remember handing him off a, a um, handing him off an isolation play, mm -hmm. and I saw him jump two gaps. So <laughs> see a back. Usually a back can jump one gap, but when he when he jumps and and collects two gaps, mm -hmm. I'd never seen that before. Uh, and that, that was, I just handed it off, looked back, watched him do it, and, and this is something I'd never seen. And, and then off he goes. The rest is history, I guess. No doubt. No question about that. I've got Jim Harbaugh, head coach of the University of Michigan, joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. So uh, how was the Florida experience for you and the, uh, and the Wolverines when you went down there for four days? All positive. Mm -hmm. The best way to describe it. And... Our goal was to have healthy, productive, fun week of football, and accomplished all that. It was it was a uh, productive way to spend a spring break mm -hmm. for uh, for the fellows on the team uh, to be in football, and also not to be going to uh, where are all the hot spring break <laughs> spots that I that you can that you that all parents yes. dread. <laughs> Well, where are you going? You're going to <laughs> South Padre. It's an Iowa. What, where? <laughs> the, yes. You just dread it the entire week as a parent uh, when you have 18, 19, 20 year old kids. Uh, so we, we didn't have any of that. But, uh, I'm, but I'm sure you heard it, Coach, that, that, it, but it, that, that it, if a kid wants to go to places like that, it's his prerogative on spring break to do that. And by you holding a practice, you were perhaps not allowing them to do things like that. Well, what did you, why do you? When, when, did the, when did the sanctity of spring break become <laughs> such a hollowed uh, experience? And uh, when, did, when did that take place? That's, mm -hmm. that's more important than Christmas or Hanukkah or Easter or uh, Thanksgiving or, or a lot of other holidays that I could think of. When did, when did, when did the hollow sanctity of spring break occur? That, that That's the... The must be able to do to go. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I guess. I see. I mean, spring break is like drinking, and and uh, uh, it seems very unhealthy. And, and my memories, of, my memories of it. Yes. And uh, and and what has transpired to the present day does not seem like something that you can't afford to miss. Well, well, I think you know, I think I think I think, uh, I think we can all afford to miss that. Well, let me ask you then. So why do you think there was such a negative reaction to you taking the squad to Florida, coach? I, I still don't know. Um, you know, every just about every squad does and in, in just about every sport uh, in college athletics. I mean, there's 
our wrestling or our gymnastics team was in Puerto Rico training. Our, our tennis team was actually in Florida training. Uh, the baseball teams, the softball teams, the swim teams, um, you know, all were all were all were training over the spring break period. And the other the other level that we thought we won on was that spring ball is going to end in time for our football team to go through finals without any kind of Mm -hmm. athletic requirements two two solid weeks of of no football responsibilities where they can focus on their on their finals well it could any of it be that there are some schools in the southeast that just don't want you in their backyard coach you think uh well in my america you're allowed to cross straight state borders and mm -hmm. and uh <laughs> travel the the great united states <laughs> Jim Harbaugh, Michigan football head coach, joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. W what can you tell? I wonder how the. Or, yes, I wonder how the. the um, mm -hmm. Here's a, here's a question I'm dying sure. to ask. How, how how does how does the Florida Chamber of Commerce feel about about uh, vacation and people tourism? Maybe that's sure. a better question. Well, I mean, you know, they, they probably, they're probably I, I think they promote it. As a matter of fact. Sure. I mean, and I'm sure you were serving orange juice to the guys. Right. I mean, I'm Plenty. sure. Was, I'm sure. Right. I mean, freshly squoze and straight from the straight from the, the fruit of the vine. But again, right? I mean, as, as you ask, um, we, we ex I can tell you how it was for us. We sure. experienced nothing but positives from the from the entire trip on a, a development standpoint, um, team building standpoint, uh, you know, academic mm -hmm. uh, standpoint. Mm -hmm. It was uh, positives. You know, and, and productive on you know, on all levels. Terrific. Uh, Jim Harbaugh joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. W who who do you think is going to play quarterback this fall? I know it's real early. I know we're in the spring. But uh, can yep. you handicap the way this is uh, going to be playing? No, I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're competing for it, mm -hmm. as, uh, as we are at many positions. And, you know, that's also what the spring is for to um, – you know, determine who the starters will be, who the the backup players will be, sure. uh, who will ha who will have a role, et cetera. So it's a very exciting time in, in that in that regard, and and that's what's taking place at our, at our quarterback do, position. Do you have any philosophy just on based on if if a uh, if a kid who's just coming straight out of high school, uh, pure freshman? Do you have any compunctions about that at all, Coach? Any thoughts on that subject? I, just to focus on. Getting better each day, um, as you would if you were a sophomore or a junior or a senior, to be better today than you were yesterday and be better tomorrow than you were today. That's that's the that's the present thing to focus on. Okay. You know, what's what's important now to, to really get yourself into the into the flow, um, you know, rather than look at you know are you going to start? Are you going to be second string? Are you going to be third string? Because the season right now is still a mirage. That's still it's still six, seven months away, so found it better to philosophically just go mm -hmm. go day to day and, and and look for improvement and think that the the theory will be improvement will lead to success. Uh, Jim Harbaugh joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, I'd love to ask you about uh, a quarterback that you used to coach, um, whose future where you used to coach is up in the air. Colin Kaepernick. What are your what are his attributes? Do you think? Do you think that his I guess what were you able to get out of him that it seems nobody else has been able to get out of him, Coach? Well, with the fact that I, you know, personally could get anything out of him, he's just a great player. Um, I mean, if you looked at the, the three most important things for any 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 player at any position, um, number one would be competitiveness, and there, there there's a, a will to succeed and a will to win. Nobody's got it like. Like Colin Kaepernick does. I mean, to a to an ultimate level at the highest level, and then athletic ability. Uh, again, these there's uh, it doesn't get any better. And then awareness would be tied for second. Uh, you know, he's, he's so intelligent, he's so smart, um, and he's so so aware of everybody. Around him and, and is able to use his his, his talent. Um, so it's just it was more of the more of a function of just how good he is.
Well, it just seems that he's lost in his career right now. Coach, have you spoken to him at any point in time in, in recent days? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, no, there's, there's no lost. Um, you know, uh, he did go through some injury last year. Sure. Some, uh, that that many, a, many a football player has experienced. But you know, he's got the, he's got the grit, the mental toughness, the, the confidence, et cetera, to to flourish it, which I know he will. Okay. Uh, Jim Harbaugh joining me here on, on the Rich Eisen Show. Before I let you go, what is your Twitter policy? I mean, you're one of the more fascinating uh, uh, Twitter follows, Coach. I mean, how, how often do you pick up that phone and think about tweeting uh, and, and, and what you do and how you actually hover around the send button and hit, hit, the, hit the send button yourself? What's that like for you? Well, is a, is a, ph a philosophy. Yeah. Um, what do you got? You got it because it seems like what, what, what I have is uh, you know I, I take the game seriously, but mm -hmm. not myself. Mm -hmm. And I like to have fun, mm -hmm. and uh, I've I've enjoyed it. It, it makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think um, it's a great way to communicate. Those are the two things uh, that stand out the most to me. I may mm -hmm. have fun doing it, and it's a great way to gather information or uh, disseminate information or. Or uh, is maybe information. maybe you get something off your chest? We noticed a you know a tweet. Uh, yeah, yeah. At times you can get something. You can get something off your chest. Mm -hmm. um, set the record straight. Uh, you know, bring clarity to a to a situation immediately. It's uh, it's it's got the ability to do all those things. Yeah, and and uh, do you need help knowing the name of the Georgia coach or the Tennessee coach? Because I can help you with that from time to time, coach. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, we. I can help you with that. I'm, I'm there for you. Just want to let you know that I'm there for you. Certainly, when you're out there. Too. You're there. You're there for millions of people. <laughs> and no, no, and nobody does it better. No, look. Well, because who's got it better than me, Coach? Oh, I, I know the answer to that question. Of course. Nobody. Correct. Well, look. I, I assume your dad's in the mix this weekend too, right? Because you and your brother are going into Ann Arbor Pioneer Hall of Fame, which is part of the reason why you're having this coaching clinic with your brother and the staff. Will your dad be in them? Everyone's all the Harbaugh's are going to be there in the mix. Yeah, it, was a, it was a good way to. It was a good way to. To do a couple different things at the same time, and mm -hmm. um, yep, uh, there's that. My dad will be will be here for sure. I mean, That's he great. he would not miss a coaching clinic, uh, you know, unless, unless unless I don't know what what would what circumstances unless he was un, if unless he was physically not able to mm -hmm. get there. The man loves to go to coaching clinics. He used mm -hmm. to go to watch Paul Brown uh, mm -hmm. clinic and Woody Hayes. And, no kidding. Uh, Bo Schembechler. That's great. But uh, yeah, everybody who likes who likes football, who uh, wants to be a coach, would would go to a coaching clinic. I'll give you. I mean, here's the, here's the test. Sure. If you want to be a coach. Okay. Uh, or if you think you should be a coach, or I'm in. you're thinking about coaching. Pencils up over here. You go for okay. it. Okay. Okay. You would rather go to a coaching clinic mm -hmm. than a concert. If the answer is coaching clinic, then yeah. There's a good chance you should be a football. Well, it coach. depends. Like, is it a Bieber concert? Like, whose concert is it? You See, know? if you're a coach, you wouldn't even have to ask. There is, there is no. There's, <laughs> well, if coach, I was a, it's a clinic, it's well, a coaching clinic. Well, if I'm I was going to the coaching clinic. Well, if I was a coach, I, I, many people wouldn't even know who Bieber is. They, they'd want they, people would exactly. Some, some if coaches, you were a coach, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> you do. Name. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know maybe the Beatles. You'd know. Uh, you know. Uh, you know. Maybe. You know, uh, yeah, a few of the. Few of the stars, you know Big Sean, you know uh, you know a few of those guys, but you still choose coaching clinic. Sure, yeah, that's the question. Well, there's some, some coaches. You failed. You failed. You failed. I the failed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in my right job. I got the right game. Yeah, don't be a coach. Okay. Coach, thanks for calling, and I appreciate it. Have a great weekend with, uh, with your folks and with uh, everybody. I assume, again, uh, your brother-in-law will be too busy uh, coaching uh, in the Big Ten uh, basketball tournament. So he, oh, yeah. He, he he'll, will be, not... he'll, be, he'll be busy uh, playing. I'm sure they'll play Thursday and then Saturday or yeah. Friday and Saturday. Probably so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, congratulations to the Indiana Hoosiers. There you go. Another Big Ten championship. Tom Crean, coach of the year. <laughs> we're, very, we're very, very proud of him. Coach, thanks for calling, and uh, uh, I appreciate you getting out of the film room to chat. All right, you're giving me the broom off the, off no, the show? No, my gosh, we've talked. Moving talk on, you're moving no, on. No, I'm, I'm, I'm up against the radio break, as they say in the I, business. And I can feel it. I can feel your closing paragraph on no. me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to I, I don't want to take you any more out of the film room. I don't want to do that, you know? I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to get better at interviews. I'm trying to. No, you, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm here for you. I'm here for All you, right. always.
Appreciate it's, you. Take that same to you. Thanks again, Coach. You take care. That's uh, at Coach Ford, uh, at Coach Jim for UM. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience.